Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'd like to begin by uh, thanking Allah for allowing us all to gather here this Sunday. Now, um, I've been Muslim two years, and um, it still surprises me that I'm standing here in the hijab and in uh, long flowing clothes. And if I saw myself two years ago, if I walked in to the masjid, and they saw me standing here, my reaction would have been something like this. <laughs> no way. What did they do to you? Lauren, what happened to you? That's what I would have said to myself. So what I'd like to share today is how come a, a, a journalist from the mainstream, um, from a political family, comes to join what is tragically being portrayed as the world's most uh, hated, but is actually the world's most vilified religion. So I remember very much going from a humble child into, I run the world and I miss everything. <laughs> and I was like that for about 30 years, embarrassing me. <laughs> the longest teenage life ever. <laughs> so holding on to the rope of Iman is really pretty difficult. And what did I know about Islam growing up in North London in the 70s and 80s? Well, I went to an all-girls school, and in my year were around three Muslim girls. And so, over the next six years, I watched them from a distance. We never sat together, they had their own clique going on, I was doing something different. But I observed, and if you'd have asked me about Islam, I would have said, yeah, I know about Islam. I know three things about Islam. And you'd say, well, what, what do you know about Islam? I'd say, number one, Islam means that Muslim girls have to grow their hair down to their waists. Secondly, Islam means that Muslim girls are really good at maths. And Islam means that Muslim girls are all going to be doctors, and it comes from Pakistan. <laughs> now, up until 9-11, that was, I'm really embarrassed to say, all that I thought I knew about Islam. And you can see, you can judge how much of that was wrong or right. I would be more embarrassed about that if that wasn't actually probably two things more than most of America still knows about actually Islam. 